currently inoperable in any case. This device is broken. Oh, what? It broke? After millennia of wear and tear, even Adepti contraptions are difficult to maintain. So what are we gonna do? Quick, Mr. Zhongli, use your unlimited high society knowledge power. Hmm. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of bourgeois parasite whose only utility lies in providing quaint pieces of trivia on de That said... Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. Spare parts were made for the Guizhong Ballista when it was first built. As I recall, there is a military supply post from that period somewhere inside. If we can retrieve the spare parts from where they are stored, we may be able to repair the Guizhong Ballista. One just needs to understand the basic. So, what you're saying is that you actually understand the working principle? I have a smattering of knowledge on the topic. With the parts in hand, I could at least tinker with it. Where is that supply post? Here, post... We'll need more where that came from. These parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh! Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look. It even has a scope. Over here we have... nothing. And over there... more nothing. Hey! Just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what? It Not a turret. A Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good math. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> It might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its- Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our god- A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this a lot- Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Hammer. Huh. These low lifes didn't know who they were messing. 
even when- Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi Chi. Oh yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adeptus beast, as Chi Chi put it. <sighs> Which means. A Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something. <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Explain that we could not find a cocoa goat. Good idea. We did our best. <laughs> Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no- <sighs> What a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I- Aww, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So... tasty. I'm sorry. I have a... poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. Ah, here. This is the name. Coke. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leeward proverb goes, all things are random. Excuse me, everyone. Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im... Impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Cheech. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I meant that Cheech was the boss. Turns out it's somewhat. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simple. Ah! The medicine. The snake is speaking! I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a- <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal- Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course- Phew, at last. Things are- Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. We'll just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to- <laughs> Coco Goat! Coco Goat! <laughs> my sides hurt! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe you fell- Hey! Let's laugh! <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here! Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return- Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child. One of the Fatui Harbingers. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk... Strange. I knew the Fatui infilled coconut milk. Baiju. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. 
I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can- That's like... zero- Hmm... Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also in an- Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? If not the Exuvi. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo saying goes, the walls have e- As it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the Everlasting Incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> Which is it, I w The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Liu. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. <laughs> Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall- Hey! There's even a storyteller here! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well-loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friend, imagine. The weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world. Behold! The glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguang ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information. Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, 
look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyuan, like ink stains and white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a Tianquan Ningguang. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she... At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait. I am not with the Millilith. Nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion. And I have come specifically to meet you. Well... In concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Qixing. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about- My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy, but I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just... Disappeared. What we've received an invitation from the Leo at Chis. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua March. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll 